Hey everybody, Jeff Simon here from Social Flight with another cool building stage on our Titan T51D Mustang. And I'm here with someone very, very special for the next phase of this build. And that's Braden Becker. How are you doing, Braden? Hey, doing good. Braden is a, a student right now working through his AMP and uh, going through the entire program. And I reached out and said, hey, I'm looking for someone now that I've lost all my help, right? They grew up, they went to college, like what the heck? You're getting all the skills necessary to work on an aircraft and airframe, and then soon you'll be going into the engine side. And so uh, we managed to connect so that we can work as partners here to get this build over the finish line. And uh, how do you feel about it so far? I think it's a uh, amazing opportunity project and I'm definitely glad to be on board. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's been great. I'm learning from him, he's learning from me. It's, it's just all good. And so we're here with the center section that you see over here to my right. And the project that we are working on now are the flap brackets. And I'll explain this a little bit. This is, we got, uh, Brayden already mocked this up. This is what a inner flap bracket looks like. And it's uh, doubled there. And essentially the flaps themselves, you know, they're pre-built from Titan. Titan gave us them like that. But they have, basically, it looks a little bit like this edge here. They just have these tabs, right, or control horns that come off the front and need to go to a hinge point for them to work. Well, two of those hinge points are out on the wings that we have not built yet, but one of them has to go here on the center section. And just to orient everybody, this is the bottom of the center section. The landing gear we pulled out in our last video goes underneath here. Uh, fuel tanks will be in these areas right over here. And so what needs to happen is we need to be able to go into here and mount these. I'm doing a very poor job of locating them but basically mount them like this so that you've got this area that is going to be the hinge point for the flap. And that's how the flaps kind of fall back uh, and give you a, an air gap, a little bit of a Fowler type design. And so to make all this happen, we need, and by we, I mean you, Braden. Uh, I'm not <laughs> gonna take credit for your work. Uh, to make all this happen, we need to make these uh, complex pieces that will go inside this bay and provide a point that, that these can mount to. So basically we're creating an internal rib that these will actually mount to, get mounted to the structure so that, as I mentioned, it'll actually come out here. And I'm gonna let Braden explain this, but the parts that we got from Titan, uh, well, they didn't fit really well, no, right? No. And, and, and even though you really need something that has four flanges, they gave us something that has two flanges and tell you to uh, go and rivet on um, like L brackets yeah. to make it work. But you have already had a major impact on this project because you found a, a great technique to use these but create a much better part. Why don't you take us through that? Oh, definitely. Well, it wasn't just my idea. Of course, he. Uh, I wanted to do CAD, uh, cardboard assisted design, but um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jeff uh, definitely got me on the right track using these as templates, using what we already have. Um, we have our outboard template currently, which is what I am working on right here with a layout design. Uh, I'll take this and move this up so people can see what you're doing. Um, it's just uh, tracing it out. Uh, man, uh, Very being... hard to see on there, but there's an outline of yeah. it right here. It's so reflective. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so you're drawing this down, mm -hmm. which and includes all four tabs. Four tabs, yes. We're uh, definitely uh, putting four tabs, keeping a solid structure, uh, minimizing points of failure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, that, that's basically yeah. it, right? So yeah. um, we're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna walk you through this because he still has a couple more to make, and you're gonna get to see the process. Um, but essentially, again, this was the starting point. Was this little piece that sort of didn't fit and only had two bends in it, and this is the beautiful finished piece, which is a essentially a full rib bracket with all four tabs bent right in there. You can see that. 
it uh, it's really beautiful. So I'm going to get back behind the camera. You can get back to work, and uh, we'll show people how you actually do this. Excellent. Thank you. All right, Brandon, let's start by telling everybody what this is. Uh, you guys at home, you probably haven't seen this in years uh, since we did uh, some parts on it, but this is an electromagnetic brake. How cool is that? You ever used one of these before? I've never seen it. I never. I didn't even know these existed. And so <laughs> electromagnetic brake means that when we go and we put a piece on top of it, um, of these like heavy steel parts that we put these on, we can hold any part, and then when we turn it on, it actually clamps it down, and then the braking process starts. And there's two switches to it. There's a foot switch that Braden's gonna use down here, and then there's also a switch where it does not engage until you start to pull the lever up. So a micro switch that actually allows that to happen. So you are going to see, Braden right now, turn this part, which you can barely see in the light, yeah, it's... Uh, into a full, finished part. I'm gonna get behind the camera. Go for it, man. Will do. I definitely want the viewers to pay attention to why I am doing the smaller ones first. I will explain when we are on the final big one. I'm gonna roll this up to 120 degrees. That is going to give us a nice 90. So we got half of it already bent. Now, Braden, why does the red piece have a piece of metal over it that you're using right there? See how that, uh, that extra piece that's already there? What's the purpose of that? So that we're not bending against this really aggressive angle and causing or overstressing our metal, causing cracks along the edge, uh, hairline cracks. Yeah, so you put a, like a shim or a protective strip over it. That is correct. It's okay if it's not over the whole bend, but definitely pay attention. Getting all my lines lined up. My shim, hitting the pedal, and bending 90. Get it up to 120. Just like that. Third flange bent. Take a look at that. That's why we always pay attention to which flanges we are bending. I have fallen into my own trap that I was going to be instructing you guys in. So the beautiful part about this break is that we have smaller ones. So let's, let's use one, shall we? I'm actually going to make another adjustment. There we go. Nice and slow. Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Look at that. A beautiful four-flanged piece made by us. Nice job. All right, let's see if it fits. Excellent. Okay, so we are at the stallion center section here. We're going to test feet fit our piece. Yeah. 
We're gonna push it to our, I hope you guys can see this, but there's two lines right here. That is uh, about 30, 30 and 3 eighths of an inch uh, from our outboard portion. And Jeff, that looks right on the money. So let's actually show people how this works. We'll do. Let's actually move this one back out. This piece in. Okay. And then right here. Okay. Push your forward, top forward, there she goes. One of the brackets and see exactly how that looks. Wow. Yeah. That's that's it. Let's so go. that's it. We just need to do uh, another set that's going to go on the other side. And then in our next video, we're going to show how we get this all riveted into place so that these flat brackets work. And then, of course, there's going to be a hole in the skin on the, the bottom half. And uh, it's all going to make sense. Brain, nice work. Thank you. Excellent. Really, really good. This is the kind of thing that has us back into gear, moving really, really fast. You're going to see a, a ton of good content coming out from us shortly. For Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. We have tens of thousands of aviation events and destinations. We have our Fly to Win Challenge where you can win prizes. And every Tuesday night, we have Social Flight Live with some of the, some of the most inspirational people in aviation and space coming on our show. Just go to socialflightlive.com to register. Everything's free. We are just here to support general aviation. And soon we're going to get this bad boy going in the sky. All sorts of cool things are coming. When you see how much work's been done in the background, uh, you're going to get pretty excited. Well, Braden, thanks again. Thank you. Couldn't be doing this next stage without you. Until next time, I wish you all blue skies.